Hello everyone, it is Sukasa with Sucraft, and welcome back to the Kerbal Murder Pro Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> now we are going to attempt our, I guess, try three, or actually it's more like try twelve, but <laughs> we're going to try yet again to get this guy up into orbit successfully to a stable orbit and then, you know, downgrade that orbit um, back and bring him safely back to Kerbal. <laughs> so, let's make JFK proud. <laughs> now how we do this is uh, you get your throttle here, and of course, um, you know, WSAD, your standard controls, you know, W and uh, S controls your pitch, as you can see here, nose up, nose down. Um, A and D controls your yaw, left and right, and uh, Q and E controls your uh, roll around your horizontal axis. Um, and then you have your uh, left shift, which throttles your up. If you have liquid fuel, that is. If you have solid fuel, you can't control the throttle of that. They just they start burning and they burn till they're out. And you can't control the throttle of it. With the liquid fuel, though, which is what I'm running here, you can control the throttle of it and uh, maybe throttle back a little bit to conserve some fuel and whatnot. And that's what I'm banking on to actually get up into orbit and be able to come back. So for right now, though, we're going to throttle it up all the way. And hit the uh, space bar, which will de, which will well, because uh, these are in stage four, all of them, it will decouple the arms holding it for stability and fire these five rockets. And then if I accidentally hit space bar a second time, it will drop all of those that stage four off completely. And yeah, I've done that so many times, so I'm gonna be very careful about this. And uh, I got my staging set up properly when I built it, hopefully. My first attempt was terrible. I didn't have these broken in different stages, so whenever I launched my rocket, it also deployed the parachute, and as you can imagine, I did not go very high. <laughs> it went all wonky. It was, it was quite comical. But I should have it set up here properly. So let's give us a countdown. Jebediah, he's ready. He's dancing around. So in three, two, one. Launch. Yeah! <laughs> Taking off. Getting very, very fast, very quickly. Let's see, once we get up to about... Um, whoop. All right, let's throttle it back a bit. I did not want to hit that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I accidentally hit W. I'm um, foobard. There's no way. I cannot believe I did that. Alright, well, this is going to be a very unsuccessful attempt, and poor Jebediah is going to die. Let's put spacebar and decouple that, and then spacebar to launch the next rocket. And it's not working. Abort! 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 Launch parachute! Okay. <laughs> and that's going to go kabooey. Yeah. This happens a lot to me. I have not quite got the hang of it yet. I, I get fidgety and I hit the wrong button and that's all it takes, man. You just bump that control stick and it goes kaboom. <laughs> so, let's uh, speed this up. Yes, yes, I know. Two, uh, four times. You can control the speed of it with the uh, comma and period button to slow down or speed up time. So, well, we're going to give him a nice soft landing in the ocean and uh, try again. I forgot to set the the, um, the SAS stability augmentation system, which is why that foobard. <laughs> All right, so let's end the flight. Yes, and uh, restart. All right, here we go. Do over. <laughs> All right, this time we're gonna hit T to lock on the stability augmentation system. Then we're gonna throttle up. All right, now we hit. Space launch. Nice clean launch. Alright, here we go. Turn the resource bar on so we can see our uh, oxidizer and fuel is ticking down fast. So once we get to 50, we're going to throttle back a bit. Okay, we're using too much fuel. Let's throttle it back. Throttle it back. No, no, throttle it back. Damn it, throttle it back. Let's 
Going too fast. I'm gonna go about 200 meters per second. Once we get up to 10,000, I'm gonna start a gravity turn. Have to take the SAS off. Okay. Bring it back. Wasting fuel. All right, let's take it off, and now we're gonna hit D to turn over. And we're gonna have to throttle all the way up. And we want to get over to about a 45 degree inclination at a heading of. We already fucked this up. Fuck. A heading of. That's good enough. All right. No, 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 no. Damn it. Totally fucked up. Alright, engine's done. Separation. And launch. Alright. Very good. No, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm spinning. Ah! Stability. Oh, God. Stability! I'm all turned around here. Okay, we need to come back this way. There we go. Let's Throttle down. Crap, I had it throttled the whole time. I'm fucked. Oh no, now I'm spinning the other way. Oh god! Oh god! Oh no. Oh no, 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 stop right there. Right there. There we go. Crapola. Right, let's look at the orbital map. And we are not looking good. Not looking good at all. Alright, throttle down. Now, I should coast up to this Apoesis. It's just 104. What is our fuel? Our fuel's looking good. It's in a really funky orbit, though. I wasn't going to go at a 90 degree. Damn it. Yeah, that's much closer to what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can, um, come back out. I need to get to a heading of 90. I don't think I have enough fuel to do that, though. Let's try it. Um, out of SAS. Try to get to a heading of 90. 90, right there. Now I need to flatten out. It's like a 45 degree angle. Like that. Right there. There we go. Now burn. I don't think I put a big enough engine on that. That was pretty dinky. I don't know if that's going to be enough to turn me. Yeah, it is. Slowly. Very damn slowly. I think this is how I got so high last time. I kept trying to to, to, to niggle it to get it, you know, this end higher up that way and, and whatnot. And whenever I do that, the Apoesis keeps going up. So maybe if we coast to the Apoesis and then we burn uh, at the same time, it'll flatten it out as well as increase it, I think. I don't know. I'm still learning here. <laughs> don't laugh at me! <laughs> It's really, really sensitive. I mean, you tap that D button. I mean, it just starts throwing you. You have to hit A, and then it starts throwing you the other way, and you get into an uncontrollable spin really easily. And you get a little par you know, paranoid is the right word there. Oh, panicky. You get pretty panicky. So, let's take the SNS off again. Let's try again to, um, to get back to a heading of 90. Right there. Okay, now increase my angle. No, 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 no. Decrease my angle. There we go. All right, no, no. Don't roll sideways like that. Ha ha! Excellent. Now we're past the repulses. All right, we got to burn, baby, burn. It's flattening it out. Alright, here we go. We're looking good. Looking real good. We're on a heading of 90. I think I fucked up though. I wasn't paying attention. It's gonna take way more fuel than I meant it to. I have to increase our angle. Like that. That's how I want to be going the whole time. I messed it up. Alright, the Apoesis is catching up to me. 
Alright. I hope so. Good god. I'm gonna burn way too much fuel. Maybe I should've put a bigger engine on it. But it's fuel efficient! I just messed it up. I mean, that's all there was to it. I think the engine's fine. I just screwed up. It's getting bigger. Getting bigger. Fuel. I think he's gonna run out of fuel. But who now wouldn't do that? God no. Cancel. screw this up. Big time. I'm shooting wrong. Totally screwed this up. Crap. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> As you can see. Yeah, I'm gonna get out into an orbit and I'm not gonna have the fuel to get back, so. Crap. Where's my pair of set? Let's just shoot for 30,000. There. Alright. So that will... How do I cancel that? No, delete that maneuver. There we go. Alright. Well, I guess we're going to pull an Alan Shepard here. We're not really going to go into orbit. We're just going to go out and then come back in. Yeah. We're not going to do a John Glenn. We're just going to pull an Alan Shepard here. <laughs> it was good practice. It was good practice. That's what I'm going to chalk it up to. <laughs> Alright, so now that we're... um. We can see here's where we launched from the debris, and um, here's our other guy going around. We're definitely not going to collide, that's for sure. So what we're going to do is, um, this is where we are now. We're going to come all the way out in this very high orbit that I totally messed up, and then come back and re-enter the atmosphere right here, and land back here. So I'm not going to sit here for the whole time because, my god, it's going to take 48 minutes to do that because I really messed up that the ellipsis on it. So I'm just going to hit the uh, fast forward time button by hitting period and zoom it around at 100 times speed. <laughs> and it'll get us all the way around pretty quickly. Overall, I'd say it's a success. We didn't blow up. Well, this, the mission's not over yet. I still got to re enter. Didn't quite achieve our goals, but it wasn't as disastrous as being permanently stranded. I mean, it's not so bad. Let's slow it down a little bit. Okay. We're in the atmosphere now. Um, oh god. Spin us around. Stop. Oh man, this thing's sensitive. Right, no, no. Other way. No! Ah! Stop! Rotate. And... Over. Alright, nope, oh, nope, oh, that was my records. Oh my god, maybe I should put freaking fins on this thing. I think I'm gonna do that. Put fins on it, make it a bit easier to control. Alright, we're re-entering now. Let's, um, jettison that. Let's, whoa, no, 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 oh god. Nope, don't do that. Whoa, oh, ah! Crap. Oh my god, stop spinning. 
Ugh. Like that. Yes, just like that. All right. Good lord, that's sensitive. Gotta come in at a good angle. Can't can't burn up. Failure is not an option. Oh god, no! 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 Ah! Jesus! So sensitive. Ah! It's good enough. Good enough. Alright, where are we coming up on? Okay, we're not going to meet our launch pad like I was hoping. God, we're gonna crash in the mountains. Good. 12,000. 10,000. Can we speed this up a little? Yes. Alright. We'll deploy it about 4,000, I think. Would be good meters. Uh, yeah. I'm not going so fast anymore. 5,000. Or a mountain, so we're going to take that into account. 4,000. Launch it. Yeah, that's sea level, not ground level, by the way. So if you're up in mountains like this, your velocity speed is a good thing too. You don't want to go if you're over like 200 meters per second. I think you could shear off the uh, parachute, maybe. Don't know. Okay, let's time warp a little bit. There we go. All right. Now where are we? Oh my God, we're on the other continent. <coughs> I meant to do that. <coughs> yes. Totally intentional. <laughs> All right. Well, Jebediah didn't die. We didn't murder him. <clears throat> so that's a good thing. Very good. All right. Successfully landed. Now we can hop out and uh, run around. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You could. I could have hopped him out while I was falling through reentry, which is rather hilarious. I accidentally did that once. Well, mission accomplished. It's in the flight. Yes. Right, lift off. Separation confirmed. Stack decoupler damaged by engine exhaust. <laughs> It'll take long was damaged by engine exhaust. Separation confirmed. All right. Well, successful mission all around. We pulled an Alan Shepard. We got him up into space and we brought him back down. So. It's a bit of a milestone, not quite what we were shooting for, but uh, hey, it's, uh, it's the Kerbal way. You learn as you go. <laughs> but if you did enjoy my mishaps, <laughs> click on that thumbs up button down there, it's much appreciated. And if you want to see more from me, then please subscribe. Until next time, though, Sukhas is signing off. Have a good one.